It's got some decent value, and it is totally complete. Did you get that at a garage sale? I did. Sleep through the night. We'll take it to Disney World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I not above bribery, but that might be a little bit too much. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the fiasco of the Harry Potter broom back in the day, but it vibrates. Hey everyone, today I'm going to see my friends Greg and Luke. They both have some things that they're looking to get rid of. They're resellers like me, but they mostly just kind of dabble in it and do it part-time, and they like to focus on smaller items that are easier to pack and ship. And I think they both have like some larger items that they just have had for a while, and they kind of want to liquidate and get rid of. So I'm going to go check out what they both have. Feels like it hasn't been that long since I was down here, but, yeah, but I guess it's been... It has been a minute. I yeah, think. almost yeah. a year now. Is it really? It's been a while. Holy cow. So, I kind of threw some stuff out here, but like everything on here, total fair game. Okay. Anything on any of those two shelves, the more of that disappears, the better. The stuff on the back wall is collection, but if it's something you see you want, I'm, you know, everything's, I'm not, you know, whatever. Right. It's cool stuff, but if somebody wants it more than I do. Yeah. But yeah, there's, there's some new stuff here. This actually, I never go starting lineup, but this actually sells pretty decent. Oh, that's, that's neat. The Boston Red Sox team. It looks like, you know, eight weight bogs. Yeah, it does look like but, a bunch of weight bogs. Yeah. The mustaches. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, with these being made in China, they didn't get that many no, no. variations of them. Like, they weren't trying to make it look like each one. These are Micro Machine. It's all Micro Machine. Nice. The party wagon. That's actually my personal projector. Oh, really? Probably has about 10 hours on it. I upgraded it, and this is an extra bulb. Okay. So it works great. Nice. Oh, the Black Crows yeah, Carnival I class? I figured you might want that. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love really. the Black Crows. Shake Your Money Maker is one of my yeah. favorite albums of all time. So I thought that was cool. Oh, that's awesome. Those three boxes are all 80s G.I. Joe vehicles. Okay. They're all, most of them are complete, too. Um, and the ones in bags are all sorted for, like, the more, like, the guns, the little huts, like they're the little like uh, extra packs that uh, you can get that work. Gotcha. This is where uh, my limited knowledge hurts me with this stuff. Yeah, I there's some pretty decent value in those. Is there? Yeah, like uh, for example, the, the Dreadnought stuff, which is this, this little ATV. It sells for about 50 bucks. Wow. Uh, but everything in here has pretty decent value. And do these, like some of these, go with those? No, these are like, this you would have bought like this cannon. Separate. Oh, I see. And this little little blow up uh, Cobra hut would have been separate. Gotcha. These are all kind of their own little things. That's cool. That's a 1965. That's killer. It's got some decent value and it is totally complete. Did you get that at a garage sale? I did. Wow, with the and packaging the, and everything? The thing is, if you sell it, I'd sell all this, then I would take these two guys out and sell them separately. Because that guy, I'm not sure about this, I think I've seen sales of this one over $100. Wow. Yeah, the um, slot cars can bring some serious money. Yeah, and this one's just so complete with the packaging and everything. That is too cool. Again, I just don't feel like shipping it. It's amazing when people pay for some of the slot cars. Like, I've oh, sold yeah. a couple over the years for some really good uh, money. There's two of these listed right now. Uh, one for $150, one for $350, and this is in better condition. And there's sales... Sales usually hit around two to two fifty. Interesting. And that's for a pretty rough one. I'd say mm -hmm. it's probably worth a little more than that. Yeah, most of the time when I see these, the corners are completely gone and they've yeah. like duct taped it to keep it together yeah. and there's some tape on that, everything but else. The box is complete and it's got a cool look to it. Very just cool. The artwork on the front. Yeah, that's just you plug in a battery and there's a little no kidding. It's like a mini one of those. In the box? Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Not intended for children. My immediate thought was, I want the kids to play with this. Yeah. Like, that would just entertain Soy forever. It would be totally fine. Those are all horror VHS. Oh, nice. I just Prom I collect night. them every time I find them. Um, wow, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, yeah, that's the early one. There's some cool After Halloween, there. I'm sure. Leslie uh, Nielsen? <laughs> yeah, I think that may have been... No, really? That, that would have been after I was going to say after, right. you she would think been, she was after new. that, everybody would want her for horror yeah. and things like that. Leslie Nielsen, that's great. Those are kind of interesting. Those are high-end, hand-knitted, blah, blah dolls. Blah, blah. And new, they're like 50, 60 bucks, but they actually sell pretty good, about 20 bucks a piece. Interesting. Uh, used. They're pretty good sell-through rate, too. 
That one dude's a little rocker. He has a little tattoo and everything. So <laughs> that that heart yeah. tattoo yeah. that is neat. <laughs> the rotary phone. I have to take this. See if the kids can figure out what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's all boat compass. That's a metronome. Metronome, yeah. yeah. Sleep through it. the night. We'll take it to Disney World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Probably not above bribery, but that might be a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's ribbon me. cutting for the college business. Wow. Cool. That is cool. And they work really well, too. They're like really nice scissors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too neat. It's like, what do you do with it, you know? It's super rare and unique, but who's the, who's your buyer? Do some like arts and crafts with the kids. Right. Like, blow their mind. Yeah. Break that out. And... <laughs> I feel like this would be an office of the, uh, episode of The Office where Michael Scott is like, Give me one of those big yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. pair of scissors uh, when he wanted the big check for the thing. <laughs> it seems like something he would want. This seems like it's growing. Am I wrong? Like, it seems like there's... I think you're wrong. More I, and I more. I totally have it under control. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've added a bunch of boom boxes and, yeah, just little things. Fill the voids. Oh, the muscles on card are those original? These are original muscles on Wow. New releases here. The, yeah, these are from a couple of years ago, but these are original muscles on card. That is too cool. Oh, you put a save the clock tower in the yeah, coin? Yeah, That's so fundraiser. cool. It's not loaded yet, but I, I figured I'd pick up some old uh, Back Future cards and put them in there. That's neat. If I uh, find some, I'll let you know. I have a complete set, but they're in a binder. Perfect. Yeah, you don't want to take that out. Yeah. We'll come across some. Yeah, this yeah, poster rack is amazing. I got all my uh, prints on my, my cake. Oh, this is so cool. Old ET, old Lamborghini, or Ghostbusters. I've been looking for one for years. And yeah, years. hard to find, obviously. I mean, new they're like fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred? Yeah, they're crazy new. Just because it's such a unique thing. Yeah. And what did you pay for it? I paid three hundred for it. That's not bad. So I figured you're not gonna find another one. And then even like the ones that don't fit, I can roll them up and stick them in there. And... Yeah, posters are so hard to store and display and everything else. Yeah. So. Yeah, this one's super cool. This one is uh, Elvira and the Beer Wolf, the full length. I think I remember when you got yeah, that. I had it in the garage for Halloween. That is killer. I think that's a really cool one. Yeah, watch out for the giant sword. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> oh my god. It's a Lord of the Rings replica. Oh, that's right. I was helping a buddy in his garage. Yeah. He was hanging there, he gave it to me. Oh, that's awesome. That old Hawaiian shirt, it's like from a a shop that's in Hawaii. It's got to be from the 60s or 70s. Sarah's Surf and Shore. They're still open. I found them. Looks like something what's his name from the Goonies would wear. Yeah. Oh, that Good. helmet TV is crazy. Is cool? yeah. Did you get that from Josh? Yeah, and I fixed it. Did you really? Yeah. That's wild. I, I uh, posted a question on the uh, old TV forum, and the guy's like, check the the V-hold ferrile magnet that probably shifted out of position. <laughs> So I started taking it apart, and the guy was dead on. It just it shifted like an inch. I screwed it back in, and it fired right out. That's wild. Yeah. From all the way down over. If you pick the logical ones, something you pick the headaches. <laughs> I try to take as much <laughs> off of your hands as I could. I know, yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, if you just need it gone, like, I'll do something with that stuff for sure. Yeah, let's price that, and then... All this is free. Let's okay. just go where that mentality is. All right. So, um, I'll have to find a place for it. Yeah, throw me a number. How's a 350 sound? Should make it an even 400. 400? Yeah, because you're giving me a good deal. I can live with that. I appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't bring enough money, so I'll be Venmoing you the rest, but I got 300 cash on me. There you go. Sweet. Thank you. Holy cow, man. This yeah, is... Yeah, it's, it's bad. Serious. Um, Guessing this was taken out at some point? I don't think so. I just wonder how it got shifted in there, you know? Yeah. As far as I know, it's new in box. Because that looks like... Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's not original tape. Hard to say. I'm, yeah. I'm not... I don't know it well enough to say one way or another. Yeah. I remember opening Kenner boxes like that in the 90s, but I don't right. remember what the tape looked like. It looks like this is just how it is. That's just how they had it displayed. Really? Yeah, because the other ones are matching up to that about. Okay. 
good spot for that. <laughs> Max Spooky Town. Um, I think it's not broken, but I do not know. I don't remember. It's a gamble with them, you know what I mean? I just, I take these for what it is. It's like, yeah, chance it is, chance it isn't. Right. It's the same with like VCR DVD combos. Oh, yeah. Like you got a 50% chance it works. But if you buy it off of them, you know, over time. So it, that's complete. It just doesn't have the web canisters. Okay. And they sell, I think the sell through is like close to 100% even without the web canisters. That's cool. Are you still doing a lot of eBay? Just doing smaller stuff? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to stick to. Because it's just easier to put like a Magic the Gathering card in an envelope uh -huh. or put an action figure in a box. Yeah. Just trying to find a box that would be big enough for this. Yep. And then hope that it doesn't get smashed. I usually just end up paying it for them. I'll go to Lowe's and pay $3. Yeah. Just because I know it's going to be what I need. It's a Ben 10 thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know anything about Ben 10, but I know that the stuff is really collectible. It is super collectible. And that it like folds out into some like base or something. I don't know if you remember the fiasco of the Harry Potter broom back in the day, but it vibrates. Oh no. And it was like a no, no big issue, but yeah. people pay crazy money for that vibrating broom. Oh my God. That's all it does is vibrates and makes that weird noise. And parents were upset. <laughs> and I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I get it. Oh my god. As far as I know, that little thing is complete. It's got all its accessories and it has its egg and its baby in its mouth. You find the funkiest stuff, man. Yes. I sure do. What do you usually what do you usually get for like your lots of Brad stalls? Let me look and see how many are in here. I would expect these three bag, four bags, bag, yeah. to bring like probably a hundred and a quarter. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I always start every single one of them at a buck and just let it go and see what happens. Like you, like I'll only auction something if I if I don't know the value. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If I can't figure out easily, and there's a really big demand for the thing. Sure. Yeah. Those are the two rules for me, and if that matches, I'll auction it all day long. Right. And you win some, you lose some. Like, it is what it is. Sure. But me trying to figure out how to price that no, and then come up with a number, yeah. there's no way. No, yeah. Or any of these, like, they're high dollar that you know of. No, they're, like, commons. Some of them are, like, 15, 20 bucks, but most of them are, like, purchase price. Yeah. I figured some, most of them are video game related, so you uh -huh. can just lot them all up as one. I think it'd have to be at 250 for it to make sense for me. Okay, that's fine. Um, only cause like, I know some of the stuff I might not necessarily mess with, you know, but yeah. like, I get the idea of, you know, getting it gone, yeah. like kind of taking it all type deal. It doesn't really matter what you give me. I just trying to move. Stuff yeah. Yeah. Here. And that's the idea. Right. And that's where I'm at with this stuff too. It's like, if I can get it out of here today, that's money towards Japan or tattoos. And that's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm into now. There you go, my friend. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Greg and Luke, thank you both so much for the deal on everything. It's always great doing business with you guys. If you saw something in this video that you are interested in, I'll put my email down in the description below. And I also have a link to my eBay store in there as well. If there's anything you ever see in my videos that you want to buy. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.